OK, we know now what vector fields are, so it's time to do something with them. What we're going to do with them in particular is integrate them. There are two ways you can integrate a vector field, a surface integral and a line integral, and they both turn out to be fundamentally important in electromagnetism, and indeed in many other areas of physics. So we're going to explain these two types of integration slowly and carefully. Well, let's start off with the surface integral. What is this? Well, the basic idea, let's say we have a vector field, and let's say we have a surface. The surface integral of a vector field is the amount of this vector field that goes through the surface. So these parts of the field go through it, so they would contribute to the integral over the surface. To get a large integral, you could have, say, a small area and a whopping great strong field that goes through it, or you could have a big area and a pathetic little weak field that goes through it. Either way, the integral might be the same. What is important is the direction of the field. Let's say you have a surface like this, and an electric field line that just goes past it, not over it. Then even though the electric field, or whatever field it is, is very strong, it's not contributing to the surface integral. So that's the basic idea. Over the next several videos we'll try and put some flesh on it and explain how you deal with it mathematically. Let's start off by considering one particular sort of vector field, the intensity field from radiation. So if we have a light source like the Sun, at some distance away from it we can have a, a vector I, which is measured in watts per square meter. And that tells us how much radiation, solar radiation or whatever, is hitting a square metre at this location. OK, we're making sense so far. Let's look, for example, at sunlight. Let's assume we've got sunlight beaming down vertically on a hot summer's day somewhere in the tropics. And let's imagine we have a house with a roof. So there's the roof and there's a window in the roof. What we might want to work out is how much heat gets through into the house. And that is a surface integral. It is the integral of the solar flux over the window. So this is our surface. And we've got to work out the surface integral of the radiation over that. Now the sunlight coming down, if there was no atmosphere and clouds, has an intensity in the vertical downwards direction. So it's a vector of the solar constant, 13.62 watts per meter squared. And let's say this window has an area A. Then the total power coming through is just I times A. Very straightforward. But what happens if the window is at an angle? That's what we'll talk about in the next video.